Are you or your student having a hard time with first grade addition? I know, it's super hard, but don't worry, I'm gonna help you out. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Hersey. I'm a certified second grade teacher and I'm about to teach you the same strategies that I teach the students in my class. But before we get into it, I wanna make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on a single lesson. Now let's get adding. Okay, so our first problem for today is up on the board. The first thing we're gonna do is read this problem twice. There are six chef's assistants and two servers. How many staff are working there? Let's read it one more time so that we can fully understand the problem. There are six chef's assistants and two servers. How many staff are working there? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is identify the numbers. So it says that there are six chefs, so I'm gonna highlight that. And then there are two servers how many staff are working there? Okay, cool. So I think I'm ready to start solving my problem. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take a look at this six. When I'm seeing that six, I'm gonna model that six out with dots. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dots. The next thing it says is that there are two servers that are working there, which means that I need to draw two more dots for those servers. Let's even change the color just so we can keep it separate. One, two. So I've got my six dots and I've got my two dots. So all I need to do is add them together. One really important thing that I like to do is to go ahead and draw out the number sentence so that I know exactly what I'm solving for. So I've got six plus two equals some number that we don't know yet. So let's count them up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. So that means that there are eight staff people in all. How was that? Did that feel okay? You ready for the next one? Cool, me too. Let's get into it. All right. In the fridge, there are four stacks of chocolate puddings seven stacks of brownies, and five stacks of pasta salad. How many stacks of dessert are there? I'm gonna read that one more time. In the fridge, there are four stacks of chocolate puddings, seven stacks of brownies, and five stacks of pasta salad. How many stacks of dessert are there? Who eats pasta salad for dessert? Oh my goodness, okay, well let's just get into solving this problem. So this is gonna be a little bit different. This is adding together three one digit numbers. So let's hop into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down my number sentence. So the problem says that there are four stacks of chocolate puddings. I'm gonna add that to seven stacks of brownies. And then I'm gonna add one more time for five stacks of pasta salad. And remember, I know that I'm adding because the problem says right here, how many stacks of dessert are there? So it's asking me how many stacks of dessert are there in all? And whenever I see in all, that means that I'm adding. My number sentence is four plus seven plus five. First, let's draw that four. So I've got one, two, three, four. Then I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I've got five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now all we have to do is count this up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So four plus seven plus five equals 16. Great work. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for me. If you wanna keep learning, make sure that you click on one of the videos at the end of this video, and I will see you in our lesson tomorrow. Take care and have a great day.